Hey guys, it's been a while since we made a video. We're going to start making video series on our, one of our Facebook page that we have, which is the Comics for Trans Support. And we also have a blog, um, which is uh, the Comics for Trans Support.blogspot.com. So um, we're going to be asking you guys to write us questions on things that you want to hear. But today's topic is going to be how do transgender people deal with their families and how do their families deal with transgender people. Um, Jessica's going to share her story in a little bit and uh, then I'm going to add a few things on how my uh, interaction with my family has been and I've transitioned since 2003 so it's been a while and then I've changed the way I look at things a lot. But for starters I'm going to have Jessica kind of give her story and uh, if I can do it without getting emotional. She gets rather emotional, she talks <laughs> about it, but uh, um, you can do this, baby. You know, yeah, so. I know, I can do it. Okay, well, um, a while back, I mean, I posted on Facebook, uh, just today, a status about, you know, my ex a little bit about my experience with my family and transitioning and everything behind it. And um, basically, um, you know, I... When I came out to everybody, it was a big shock, obviously. Um, nobody really was like, nobody really knew what transsexual or transgender was. So I had to explain it as I explained it. In further detail, they started getting that. Um, my mom told me that, you know, when I actually came out, which was a little less than two years ago, and uh, my, you know, my mom told me, you know, I loved you as my son, I'll continue loving you as my daughter, and um, not too long ago, um, I found out the, the real deal from my cousin, because me and him got into a fight, which him and I, uh, growing up, he was like my brother, and I was kind of like a sister uh, that he didn't know about, um, but essentially, um, everything that transpired, uh, I got into a big battle with him, and then so he outed my mom on a bunch of things that she said that were nowhere near uh, what she had told me when I came out to her. Uh, made me feel like she accepted me, but yet uh, two years later, she's still utilizing the wrong pronouns, still treating me like a, a boy, which I'm not, and has had no initiative, it looked like, to physically try to understand where I came from in all this and I put myself in her shoes but that's a whole nother deal. Um, so in finding out that I disowned my mother and um, you know between my mother, my uh, my cousin and some other family members which I won't really um, I won't really uh, you know oust them too much um, tried to keep me from my grandmother, um, which my grandmother was more like a mother to me than my own mother was, and, uh, you know, my aunt that passed away a few years back, um, probably about four years ago, um, she, growing up, she was my idol out of everybody in my family, and in the house it was me, my mom, and my grandmother, um, and my aunt, so, um, Essentially, you know, um, I grew up with, raised by three women, um, which has nothing to do with me being transgender. This started way back since I was five. Um, that I, that's as early as I can remember. I can't remember anything before that. But to shorten it up a little bit, because uh, I can sit here and talk forever. And I know Mark's getting anxious. Well, we're going to try to keep the video within a <laughs> short period of time, you know, maybe more. But. Anyway, the um, what I was saying was that you know after I found out how my mom really felt that she would never see me as her daughter, I just her. her. Um, so basically, um, you know, the moral to the story is those that are negative, they're not needed. Um, those that are positive, you want to keep them in your life and try to bring more positivity. Yeah, I'm I'm going to disagree with uh, Jessica and. I felt the same way in the beginning of the transition, and I'm sure many of you will go through this whole continuum, and it's, it's almost like a journey that you, you will go through. One of the things we need to find out, and as transgender individuals, and I'm sure a lot of you will agree with me, or maybe not, it's all about I, 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 me, 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 how dare somebody else not accept me for me. 
Like, you have to understand that uh, not everyone is in the same page. We have thought about this all our lives because we felt this since we were younger. Some, to some people, this is all brand new. So they've got to get used to the idea, we are killing the person that they love. I killed the daughter my mother loved. And it was a very long battle between my mother and I. She would still call me by uh, my female name, which was Maritza. And just recently is when she started calling me Mark. And it's been many, many years. So I have changed in believing that it doesn't matter if you call me it, her, him. I know who I am. And I'm not going to let anybody else's way of thinking affect my inner self. We think we need approval from the world. The only approval that I believe we need is to approve ourselves and love ourselves. And the more we put this out there, the more other people will show you this. Our parents, our loved ones, have a hard time with our transition. A lot of them may try to accept because they want to appear to be loving parents. And they do love you, don't get me wrong. They never stop loving you. They just don't like the idea that we have done what we have done to their loved ones. I think it's patience, forgiveness. You have to forgive them because they don't know better. Just like, and I, I don't want to make this a religious quote, but forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. It's a famous quote from a very uh, um, wonderful man called Jesus Christ. We have to eliminate the anger, the hatred, and the fear in our hearts. And through love and understanding and patience, all those around us will come around. I empathize completely with my future wife, fiance, Jessica, and I understand how she feels. She gets very, very uh, defensive when people don't refer to her and the proper pronoun that she wishes to be referred to. But not everyone's going to see things the way we want them to see. So I think we'll take away a little bit of our own hearting and our own, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Our own, uh, I can't even think of the word, but we'll, we'll be able to deal with life a lot better if we stop thinking that people should do this and they should do that. No one should do anything. The only person you can change is you. And again, this might take many years for you guys to understand because I believe our transition goes through evolution and goes through changes. And eventually it's been, what, 10, 11 years since I transitioned. And I think totally different today from what I thought in the beginning of my transition. I couldn't care less if you call me he, she, it, I know who I am, and what people call me doesn't determine how I feel. And um, just be patient, love your family, because they, they are your family no matter what. And I know that there will come a time where Jessica and her mother will rejoice and they will make amends and they'll realize that it's, it's all about love, it's all about unconditional love. So we want your comments, we want... Um, your questions, your input. We're going to be putting this on Facebook and also on the Coming for Trans Support blog. Uh, we're trying to create a movement to, to help you, help yourself, to help others, to educate family members, which is a major educational process. And it's going to take time. Time heals everything. And uh, she has something else to say, of course. Uh, oh, yes. Um, so basically, I mean, the key to everything is no matter what happens in your life, you know, with family, friends, whatever, just remain positive and keep moving forward. Um, until I transitioned, it wasn't till I transitioned that I found true happiness within myself. Once I did that, the universe gave me mark, and that has led me to um, eternal happiness. So. Um, just remember, stay positive, and, you know, when negative things happen, try to turn them into a positive, to make it seem like it's in more of a positive light. Again, I can go on for hours about this stuff. <laughs> hours and hours and bore the hell out of everybody, but I know I'm not going to do that. So, we'll wait till the next video for that one. We wanna Take it away, baby. We want to thank you <laughs> for um, supporting us, following us on Facebook, yes. and, uh, we love all our Facebook friends and family as well as our YouTube friends and family. Yeah. And most of all, we love each, each other. other with all our hearts. Very much so. And mm -hmm. we love you too. So take care, guys. Till next time. Ciao. Bye. See you soon.